our heroes head out for the next part of their adventure. Are you ready? I'm ready. D and D minus. You guys ready to jump back into the world of fantasy and adventure? Uh, yeah, I have to roll my in- thingies. My uh, what are they called? Uh, uh, your that's a great question. What are those actually called in the your game? Premonition dice. There's, your there was something. <laughs> <laughs> Portents. <laughs> they're called dice. <laughs> There's D I C poor ten. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. that's great. It fucks you up when you got a singular. It's it's a weird, <laughs> it's an irregular pluralization. But no, no. But what my poor tense, poor tense. Yeah. That's so I mentioned this very very briefly in episode eight. But um, your poor tent means that you roll two d twenties at the beginning of every day, and you can replace any attack roll, saving throw, or ability check made by you or a creature you can see. With one of the foretelling rolls. So, what are your foretelling rolls today, Noah? It, you're, you're not. You're. You're not even going to believe me. They're so damn good. Seventeen and nineteen. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. Yeah. Making some good rolls happening today. Yeah. All right. So, um, you also have tattoos and stuff now, which I've put in your D and D Beyond things. But you got to remember because you have way too much shit now. Mine's so a if- bear. Yours a bear, exactly. Mine are ass wolves. <laughs> you have ass wolves. If you forget about the ass wolves, I've failed you in, in a pretty major <laughs> way. All right. It takes several days by horse and almost a week at sea. But at last, you come to the Isle of Rhodes. It's a nice enough city, but you barely notice because while your boat is still almost an hour away from port, you see the foot. A foot bigger than the town itself, rests on the hill behind it, its ankle rising all the way up into the clouds. As your boat docks, a dark-skinned, full-bodied elven rogue is waiting for you. She wears a plain woolen cloak and, like everyone else on the dock, a hat made of a flat circle of wood. She has four extras of these, which she hands to you and says, Hey, are you Blade Vigil Slot? I'm Sammy. Named after Dungeon Master level patron Sammy Marie. Quick, put these on if you don't want trouble. I'm gonna put on my hat. I'll do it slowly. Sure. What, what did you? I'll put. I'll put something on. What? What is? I reluctantly put on my hat. <laughs> it's a hat. It's I'll just, put on hats. Hat. Yeah. It's it's a hat made of a flat circle of wood. Are y'all all seeing that foot, or is that just the uh, snog's mane? I feel like someone here has a really big like fetish that they just need to get over. <laughs> or all right. All right. I just want to make sure it ain't just I, me. Sometimes yeah. the wood hats me. fit into the fetish. What? How do you think the wood hats fit into that? I don't know. Are we supposed to like provide a floor for it or something like that? If I, y'all don't mind taking this conversation inside, you're going to get stars in a moment. Oh, oh stars. We're going right. to get what? St- stairs. I have an Irish accent. Got it. Or ah. I have a fantasy. I have a Rodian <laughs> fantasy accent. So stairs. That's how I say it. So <laughs> as you follow her through the streets and alleyways of Rhodes, the most striking thing, aside from the giant foot in the distance, as Snetric pointed out, is that you don't see anyone without this flat circular hat on. And as you get closer looks as you walk by, the hats are all different. Some have messages written on them. Others have pictures. But Everyone, I mean everyone, men, women, children, dwarves, magical beings alike, are wearing them. You finally reach Sammy's house and step inside. She turns to you and says, Now then, what questions did you have outside of prying ears? Ah, so what are these hats again? Ah, yes. Well, these are the unofficial headgear of the temple, aren't they? Silly fools draw pretty pictures or write messages of praise on them to the Colossus, as if the big bugger could see them all the way down here. Still, if you want to stay out of trouble with the temple, you'll keep these on your heads and watch your mouths. Wow. Okay. Now, now, all right. Are there baby-sized ones, or do the babies have to wear ones this size? Oh, uh, no. The babies get baby-sized ones. It's not, Again, it doesn't all really right. track... 
is there a, a some sort of lord that's supposed to go with them? Well, they're in praise of the Colossus, aren't they? Is that the, the foot that we see in the distance? Oi, that's the foot. Well, at least that's a part of him. That's his All right, foot, so now, I take it. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> curious about this. <laughs> Be real fucked up if it wasn't, though. Yeah, if we just had a foot place, what? and then we were like, oh, no, the Colossus is over here. Well, so that, that no, that's my question now. It's kind of cloudy out today. Is it? Is it always that cloudy? I mean, are we sure there's a Colossus there and they ain't just fucking with you with a giant foot? Honestly, who can say? I mean, who knows the truth behind the legends? They say he was created by a great wizard to protect the city. Some say he's the father of all giants, but protect the city he has. Rhodes has remained safe and sound under his watch for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Every time an army arrived at our gates, a giant hand swept down to crush him. The great storm rises, the big brute covers us and keeps us safe. Well, at least he used to. Last few years, it's gone silent and still. That foot is all we've seen of him. I got a question about that, too. Have you ever seen anything other than a foot or a hand? Oh, sure. I grew up here. I've seen him reach down and smash armies. I've seen him save. I, I think she's asking about the penis. Is That is what you were asking about, right? Or face. There's other, there's other body parts. Jesus, it's so hard for me not to slip into Irish. Thanks a lot, Eli. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you had the... Uh, what do you want? Which accent should I choose? One of the non-white accents? No, I don't fucking think so. You know how many wow. Irish Americans are going to write us an angry letter about this? Voice? Look at this. Hoitily toitily toy. And then Sammy grabs a big box of Lucky Charms and starts eating them. See? I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to do this. You this think of another island. accent I can do where we didn't just get canceled on all the radio channels. That's right. <laughs> But no, I've never seen his penis, she says, <laughs> slipping back into her character. I was talking about his face. Whatever. No, I had never seen that either. Sure, you were talking about his face. That's what they sure, all you were talking about his face. I was talking about his face. Uh, okay, so so you knew we were coming from uh, from Blade. You've heard from Blade. What did he send us here to find? I know we're supposed to find part of the wand or whatever. He never really let us know in any detail which what it was going to be or who's in possession of it or anything like that. Ah, uh, I suppose he wouldn't have. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't be here. You're here for the Stone of Life. It's at the very top of the Colossus inside its alchemical and mechanical brain. It's, some say it's what keeps the mighty brute standing. Well, I suppose if you all succeed in your mission, we'll find out, won't we? All right, so what you're saying is we are going to see the dick. I mean, you might... Pass by or the vagina. Dick. I mean, we're gonna cut we're gonna vagina. pass by the bulge. I mean, that. or non-sexed organs. Mm. I don't think that's a thing. What What would that be? Would cloaca? Okay, thank you for <laughs> friend. He's a colossus. Maybe he's a giant so there's, aracocra. Th there's a chance that know. it's a fish or a. <laughs> yes, it's a okay. giant mermaid. Okay, I, I feel like we're I feel like we're getting bogged down in weird details. Um, is it? Can how do we get to the top of Colossus? Well, the only there's only one way to reach the top of the Colossus, and that, of course, is from the inside. That's exactly what I asked Blade. I mean, even if you could convince the temple to let you through the gates to the foothills, you'd be destroyed by the creatures inside. And even if you could defeat them, you'd still have the whole bloody climb up his head to make. I mean, if you ask me, it's a lost cause. What, uh, what creatures are inside? <laughs> I mean, only the ones that I've seen so far don't even reach up to the high knees, but there's the toe jams and the splints and some untold horrors above that that even I don't know about. So do we need to get like some sort of special permission to like get into that gate? Can we talk and to somebody about that? And more importantly, are we going to need a glaive at the end of this? Because I'm going to be very damn disappointed. <laughs> I have several glaives. If we need a glaive. <laughs> <laughs> she just sadly takes a glowing glaive that I had saved for the final episode. <laughs> <at> the <end. laughs> well... For, I, all right, fine. I turn out to be the villain. I just, I, I had like 200 episodes <laughs> to go on this. Fuck. Jeez, I'm your mother. <laughs> Did you know a glaive is actually just a, it's a spear on a pole. That's, it's not that thing you have. That's fidget spinner. Oh, I definitely know that. Let me tell you. Because okay. I've seen glaives and not the movie Crawl. I'll tell you that. Okay, good. <laughs> the scroll, the scroll fantasy movie, crawl. the puppet show. Yeah, what? There it is. puppet show crawl. Exactly. 
Uh, but yes, you will. You'll need to get permission from the Temple of the Colossus if you want to get inside. And they run this town with an iron fist, pretending to serve and maintain the Colossus, when all they do is write fancier and fancier poems on their stupid hats. It's them you'll have to convince to let you through the gate to the foothills to begin with. Well, hmm. great. Pa uh, point us in that direction, then. All right. Should we have, like, some poetry ready or something? Oh, uh, <laughs> anything you can tell us about these guys or, or girls or... People. I'll just let you see the siblings for yourselves. Ooh. So Sammy leads you through the city and towards the giant foot known in this area as the foothills. However, Shit. you notice as you draw closer that this side of the city is protected by a high stone wall with a squat fortress at its center. That's the temple, said Sammy. But mind your tongues. You don't want to cross the high priests. There are a couple of fanatics. All right. So just out of curiosity, and not that I'm planning on doing this or anything, but if we should fail to convince him, how hard would it be to, you know, come around from the West? I mean, I suppose you could make the trip. <laughs> it's not that tall a wall. If you had the cover of darkness, you might even be able to climb. But if you get caught by the temple's guards, you're in for a pretty uncomfortable confrontation, if you know what I mean. I don't, but I kind of don't want to either. I want to leave that to my imagination. Okay. Try to this, is all, this is all just hypothetical. So it's, a, it's not <laughs> even an issue. We were just, oh, no, I'm on your side. If you guys want to climb over that fucking wall, I'll watch out. Like, I'm oh, I'm with you. Oh. Some development. <laughs> yeah. So you just, like, don't like these temple people? Correct. You guys, Blade sent us to her. Obviously, she's going to be on our side. Well, unless she's going to double cross us later. But yeah, 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 right. For right now, you know, she doesn't Can we like roll for insight to make sure she's not going to double cross oh, us? Oh, hey, that's a great idea. I will also do yeah. that. Yeah. Who has roll good insight? I got guys. a plus one. I great insight, and I got a 19. So We're using that one. Plus. 19 plus. <laughs> plus. Something. It doesn't matter. 19. Yeah, yeah. 23. She seems legit, but she's hiding something from you, especially about these priests. Is there a bar nearby? Yeah, there's an inn just down the road there. Claw, you want to go get a drink? Should we get her, get her drunk? Uh, uh, I was going to ask her some stuff still, while sure. she was still sober. Uh, would you like to come with us to meet these priests? Sure, yeah, no, I'm I'm by your side for this adventure. I owe Blade a turn, so... It just seems you, you seem a little reluctant. Is she a guest party member? Yeah, she's she's going to be joining you. Well, at least she says she is. Right. So she'll fight with us too, right? She'll roll like attacks and stuff. Maybe. Depends. Okay. 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 Man, I wish I'd gotten charm person. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, you know what? I have charm person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, do you? I do. But it Excellent. would seem like a waste of a spell at this point. That's I mean, true. Uh, that is actually. I'm pretty charming already. I right. feel like I'm probably going to need that spell. Try your hand at it. I also have something called suggestion. She can't hear me <laughs> saying this. <laughs> I have deflect missile. <laughs> so she, that's it. That's good for if things go south. If she, you know, <laughs> I, I poison spray. Yeah, right. Like I, we're out, we're on the subject. Yeah. So, Sammy, do you want to come check things out? Can we? What do you, What do you think is a better idea? Should we go meet these siblings, or do you think maybe well, you want to just help us, like break? I want to know why you're, you're. You seem a little reluctant to go. Is there history there between you and the priests? Uh, let's just say I used to be a lot closer to them than I am now. I'm not a real big fan of let's just say. Let's just say what the truth is. How's that? I used to be a lot closer to them than I am now. I loved the temple. I grew up in the temple. But when the siblings took over and the Colossus went silent and still, they became more and more extreme in their beliefs. A lot of people think that uh, the big bugger just died of old age and, you know, used to be a constant protector for the city. But... The siblings have become convinced that it's because of the wickedness of the city that he's gone silent. And so they insist on ever more stringent rules for the city, and they insist on ever more control and ever more power to enforce those rules. All right. I think I know what we're going to have to do, guys. Yeah. We're going to have to start a podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we could either like try sneaking or we could cause a distraction i mean you could also try to convince them uh, yeah we could try yeah, let's, let's, the let's see if we fail first. before we uh, <laughs> before we go to plan b <laughs> can you set up a meeting with the the sibling are they what are they brothers sisters what? uh they're brother and sister brother and sister okay is, can, is there like a, a secretary we could call and set up an appointment with yeah, them yeah exactly no, they're just 
just they live in the oh, temple. You could just right. go see them. There's no need to make a point. Can you call them just to make sure we don't get there? And then it's like they're in a meeting with somebody else, and then we have to wait. I don't know what you mean by call. Call like, like just call them. Like like open the door and yell out the door. How Dave? close are okay. they to here? Right well, now? we have these little paper birds. We can do that kind of shit with. Oh, but that's I'm, right. We can. That's true. We're literally standing outside. That's, of the temple. that's what I was All thinking. Right. We could just okay. walk in there and. <laughs> I didn't realize that a location had changed. I'm sorry. Yeah, me neither. My guess is is that there's probably not going to be a built-in kick around the lobby while you're waiting for your gate change to come <laughs> through in this adventure. So I'm thinking we just go right on into the temple and meet I'm these here knock. siblings. Oh, now I really wish I had built in like a bitchy administrative assistant who makes you wait a week and a half. <laughs> did you guys fill out Form 26D? Quite certain you did make that up and you're bluffing right now and that's what's oh, going to happen when we go inside. Oh, that's the ogre from the place before. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> sir, sir, I need you to go to the back of the line behind the red line. And really I already waited on this line. <laughs> Fantasy DMV. I love it. Great. Aren't you glad I have an Irish All accent? Right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was actually, it's really I was good having that you have an exactly Irish that thought. <laughs> We're all um, having a nice, good, uncancelled time with my Irish accent right now. <laughs> Hey everybody, just hopping in for a second to thank you again for listening to the show. This has been a ton of fun to make. I know the episode this month is a little bit on the short side, but that's because we got a nice big honking chunk of an episode for you next month. Uh, if you enjoy the show, why not tweet about it? Tell your friends, tell people about it on Facebook, give us a nice review on iTunes, always helps promote the show. And if you love the show, why not support us over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus, all spelled out. Uh, you get access to our first short game as well as a behind the scenes Dungeon Masters Q&A. And by the time you're listening to this, the Dungeon Master level patrons will get access to some of the components and magic items and thoughts that I have behind the story themselves. So if you want to use any of this stuff in your own adventures or your own dungeon mastering, maybe the dungeon master level is for you. All right, let's get back to the show. So inside the temple, two elves sit on massively oversized thrones. Welcome, visitors. You are tiny in his sight. I am Priest Foley, named for patron Holly Foley. Thank you, Holly. And this is my sister, the minuscule priestess Lonergan, named for patron Leslie Lonergan. Thank you, Leslie. Holly, Leslie, ooh, ooh. how may we help you? That was a surprisingly formal, uh, kind of a 7-Eleven type greeting. Uh, we would like to have a tete-a-tete with your uh, Colossus there. Ah, oh, you wish to visit our Lord and Savior, the Colossus himself. What business brings you to the Colossus? We're very big fans of him. It's like tourism. We wanted to check out the top. Heard it's a good view. Bridget, roll a deception <laughs> check for me. Okay. I got a plus five on deception. That's great. Cool. Yeah, we're going to need it because I got a nine. I would like to deceive now. I would right. like to Go change ahead. that to a 17. Oh, <laughs> shit. Really? You're going to use the big one? Yeah, yeah. No, I've got, got a 19. Oh, going shit. Too. All right. Yeah, save that 19. So, all right. She's going to deceive 17. the fuck out of And Dave, you wanted to roll as well? Yeah, I guess I might as well if I get better than Go a 17. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I did. I got a 19 plus five. Well, fuck. So Lonergan looks at you for sort of a long, silent moment, and he says, I can tell you true acolytes you are, but surely you know that the best way to reach the Colossus is to make your sacrifices here. Uh, perhaps you'd like to make a sizable donation to the temple. I assure you that your names will be written in very, very large font on the hats for this week's ceremony. Well, I... I don't care about how large our names are for the for the people. I just... I, we would... We would love that is to very generous, actually, though. It's lovely. It's very, very generous of you. I would just love to be with the Colossus, as I have always wanted to since I was a wee babe. And then we will make a donation after that. Yeah. 
totes. Well, not only, not just some kind of ordinary donation. Let's be honest with these fellas of what we're talking about here. We represent a kingdom that would also like the protection of the Colossus. And, you know, they've heard a lot of stories about how badass he is. Now, they got quite a substantial treasury that they want to donate to the temple. They just want us to be able to, you know, look him in the eye and wave beforehand so we can make sure he's still up to defend it, you know? Yeah, we just need you to Western Union us like $50, and then we'll be able to release that <laughs> exactly. from a larger that's, amount from our treasury. That's the key to we it. We know is a prince in Nigeria that would be really interested if you... <laughs> Snedric, uh, roll a deception check for me. <laughs> Damn it. For that excellent lie. I suck at this, though. I have a minus oh, one no. on deception. You can oh, 19 no. this up if you have to. Oh, but I got an 18. Uh, oh, you don't fuck need... yeah. My my roll. fucking my D twenty is just weighted today. Crushing I don't it. know why, but yeah. Or well, you didn't tell us that you were emissaries, says the sister. Um, of course you must see the Colossus. I I assure you, he's he's still up to fighting spirit. Um, he, he protects roads all the time. We just haven't um needed much protection for the last hundred years, is all. We just uh, <laughs> everything's been so great here, hasn't it, brother? Oi, oi, everything's been so great. Uh, your tininess, yes, your minusculeness. It's been uh, so so great. But but by all means, you must you must go through the gate and and see him for yourself. Uh, just um, well, uh, be a bit careful. In the tow hills, it's it's a silly thing, really. But you know, the Colossus protects all, and part of the all that he protects are some dangerous creatures. I, I, I'm sure royal emissaries such as yourselves will have no problem with a couple of wild beasts and such. Wild beasts? Oi. Dude, you said a couple. There's two max. Is that what you're saying? Oh no. There's definitely not just two. Can you give us some guards to take with us? You're a royal commission and you need guards to take with you? I mean, we'd prefer yes. guards to take with us. What do you normally do with tourists? You know, the honest truth is we weren't expecting there to be a whole bunch of beasts what needed fighting off between the temple and its god. I mean, uh, we we don't generally bother the Colossus. We just maintain the wall as our fathers and forefathers above us did. Um, it is the way. Oi, sister, it is the way. All right. Well, no, you're like Mandalorians. I get it. I get it. That's very original. Oh, that is stolen from the Mandalorian, isn't it? I just, I was like, oh, that's a cool turn of phrase I just thought of. Nope. <laughs> Took it from the fucking Mandalorian, didn't no, you, I? You, you didn't invent the phrase, that's the way. <laughs> um, so, if you'd like to go through, you, you may. We'll, we'll open the gate for you. Unfortunately, we've no guards to send with you. We're, we're poor um, priests. But, uh, you know, uh, per perhaps Sammy will accompany you. Well, that's mighty nice of you to offer. That would be lovely. <laughs> Sammy? Um. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'll uh, happily come along to praise the Colossus with these visitors. Wink. From a faraway kingdom. Great. Excellent. Let's go. Shall we get cracking then? Foley and Lonergan walk you through the gates. Lonergan reminds you to please give a positive report to your rulers and gives you some literature on how you might donate large amounts of gold when you get back. And with a signal to the guards, the stone doors slide open. About 200 feet in front of you is, well, a giant toe. Part rock, part gray flesh and with a nail of what appears to be a dark gray slate forming a sizable cave that darkens the further in you go. Ah, uh, my lords, my uh, emissaries, if you want to get inside and see the savior, Tow Cave is the most pleasant way to do it. Believe me. All right, I was kind of hoping for something a little... Well, you know what? This is fine. That'll be fine. This will be fine. Uh, what were... Just out of curiosity, what what word are you hoping for there? I was just flew and puff, got had me thinking of some ideas. Just never mind. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to do an he wants to do an ask. Do you thing. have some rock climbing materials I have this, with you? I have this wand, you know, it's just be it'd be funny. You know, I, I, I want to get a little <laughs> selfie. Anyway, but no, that's fine. That's fine. I have this I have this tattoo on mine. It would just never mind. You know, uh, sure. It's fine. sure. I'll go in the I'll go in the toe. You guys are going in the toe cave? Go in the toe. Uh can I make an, an perception check? First, just to see if there's like movement or anything inside. I'm glad you asked that. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> Should we maybe all do it? <laughs> Excellent. 24. 24. All yeah. right. 
As you wander deeper and deeper into Toe Cave, the marvel of the Colossus becomes more and more obvious. Parts of this cave are flesh, but there's also wood and metal and materials you don't recognize. It's like when someone tells you they've built their own house, except in this case, the house seems to be alive. I really need to clean my toenails when I get home. <laughs> I gotta be honest. You're not the only one. Sammy pulls a glowing blue ball from her cloak, which lights the cave around you. You'll want to be careful. There's toe jams in these caves. Invisible unless they're moving, but they'll envelop you and digest your life. And as if on cue, you hear an ominous squishing from up ahead of you. Now, because of that 24 roll, I'm going to use that 24 roll here. As you head further and... Well, sorry. Do you want to keep going into the cave or do you just want to stop? I would like to summon Carl the Pug of Pegacorn to fly ahead and see what that is. Oh, I love him. Cast that spell. Casting it. How many hit points does Carl have? Carl... He's an imp, so he has 11 hit points. Oh, nice. As you say the words, a golden chain appears on the floor in front of you, and the snub nose and leggy legs of Carl the Pug of Pegacorn <laughs> appear as he turns to you and says, Ah, this is great. What was that? Uh, three, four days before you needed my help? What? Well, I mean, <laughs> since we last recorded, that's a weird thing to say. But like, <laughs> Hello, Carl. We'd like you to we'd like you to fly ahead in the, into the cave and just like check it out, make sure nothing dangerous is happening. If you don't mind, that just fly back, fly in, fly back. That is the most adorable little creature in the entire world, <laughs> isn't he? Hello. Right, right. Don't, don't give him. Don't some scratch bread. my. Oh, do not. Would you like some belly rubs? I don't. I mean, yes, I would like belly rubs. Sure? But oh, for, okay, let's. Uh, I, all right, now you got my boy? leg doing the shaky thing. Who's I'm doing the shaky boy? thing. Who's your I am a, I am a 575 year old demon infernal Who's a good boy? servant to her oh, highness. You're a eat very your face. Good demon. Is Glad you are. to eat your face. Okay, oh, you're adorable. This is this is exactly why I didn't want to do this gig. I am. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch him I'm behind the ear real good, and then let him That go. is that is excellent. I appreciate it. <laughs> So I'm going up ahead and I'm checking inside this cave to see if there's anything up there. Yeah, that's perfect. And I've got a piece of garlic bread for you if you do a good job. Uh, you, you, you know my heart. Oh my, you know my God, heart. that coat is like the most important thing for Carl the Pug of Pegacorn. This makes all my so sense. So Carl flies up ahead and he says, uh, um, well, you know, I got dark vision. Uh, it looks wobbly up here. Wobbly. What do you mean wobbly? Yeah, like um, you ever see um, uh, how do I put this? Uh, you ever look at something through smoke? I, I have definitely looked through a lot of stuff through smoke. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it kind of kind of looks like that. That's that's going to mean that there's a bunch of invisible monsters running around over there. I would reckon. That's, if I were or, to guess, I would say that there's a the bunch of invisible monsters up there. The Toe jams. jams. Yeah. Yeah, I, honestly, if you guys have a choice, I would definitely not go into this whoop and you hear a loud slapping noise and Carl goes silent. <gasps> We're going to charge in to defend Carl. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm there already. Throw some bread in first to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> that was serious. <laughs> I'd like to create some bread. Yep. <laughs> Just reach in your pocket, dude. It's in. I, I just he has did. to roll. For, a, he has to roll for oh, yeah, bread. Oh yeah, roll your twenty. He doesn't. We don't know oh. what kind of bread it is. Didn't have the bread table up. Why Go would ahead. you not have the bread table up at a time I like just this? Have Eli? The Slap. bread table. I got up a at 12, all 12 breads. <laughs> 12, 12 bread units. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess pumpernickel. Can I tell you something really fantastic? Yeah. I don't know that this person listens to our podcast. But they did take this down, this item down from D and D Beyond. So I had to go into like my like copy and paste thing of oh, it to no. recreate it. <laughs> so if I mysteriously am murdered, it is a million percent the role of summoning bread guy, and uh, <laughs> I have crossed him in the wrong way. Oh, okay, you summon Cloud Bread. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Keith, you pull out a three-ingredient cloud bread with attached recipe. Oh dear! Kind of looks sorry. like a biscuit. That, that's that's sad. Mm. It's actually pretty good. I'm having it's, some right now. It's basically an <laughs> omelet. 
Okay. It's a flower so as, omelet. So as you rush into the cave, something above you catches your eye, and you manage to dive out of the way, all of you, as a giant square of gelatinous fungus enveloping Carl the Pug of Pegacorn slaps down <laughs> from the ceiling right onto where you were standing. Sammy, however, who follows behind, is not as lucky, and a second cube lands directly on her, enveloping her entirely. Oh, I am going to kill this fungus so hard. Those bastards. Let's roll for initiative. Totally Irish <laughs> nod. Mm-hmm. Look, American. You slipped mm-hmm. into an American. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Irish. Mm-hmm. You hear how it's, it's up here in my nose. <laughs> I would. You love... don't even talk in an accent in your character. I would really it's love Jesus. for us to stop <laughs> talking about this accent because now I'm just going to be Irish for the rest of the thing and I'm not. Okay. Don't, all right. Don't worry, my love. It's all going in the editing room floor. Hi, right. Eli. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Uh, well, let me take that again. Okay. Shrek. 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 A blade sent us to her. Like, of course, of course she's going to be a he? He? Can you oh dear. All right. Well, this is fun. This is great. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm LLC. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved.